Hi, I'm Jamie from Company Folders. Today I'm going to show you how to export the artwork from one of our folder design templates so that you can import it into a folder mockup template. So this is actually going to be a slightly different process depending on whether the template is an Illustrator or Photoshop format. We'll start out with Illustrator. First, open the template and export it to JPEG format by selecting File and Export. Next, we're going to hide the layer with the folder's blue die-cut lines by clicking this eye icon in the Layers window. And we're going to go ahead and export another copy of the design, minus the die-cut lines. Now, even though we're working with an Illustrator template, we're actually going to use Photoshop for a bit. Open up both JPEG files in Photoshop, and with the Move tool selected, click and drag the image with no die-cut lines onto the image with die-cut lines. From the Layers panel, we're going to set this top layer to 50% opacity, so that we can see both of them. And then we're going to move that layer so that it's right directly on top of the other layer below it. Now we're going to set the opacity of that layer back to 100%, and move it underneath the die-cut layer in the Layer panel but we're going to keep the layer with no die-cut lines selected. Now we can start extracting the various pieces of the design. We'll start with the folder's cover. We'll click the rectangular marquee tool and use it to select the cover along these visible die-cut lines. Then we'll copy it to the clipboard and we'll open a new Photoshop document and paste this image into it, and then save it. Now we just repeat those last few steps, copying, pasting, and saving the various other parts of the folder, like the pockets or the back cover. If you're extracting images from a Photoshop template, the process is very similar, but there's a slightly different preparation involved. When you first open the template, hold down the Control button and select every layer in the Layers panel, except for the one labeled Die Cut. Then click Layer and Merge Layer to merge all of the design elements together, except for the die cut lines. Then we just repeat the same process as before, selecting with the Marquee tool, selecting the front cover, copying it to the clipboard, pasting it, and saving. And we'll do the same things for the other elements of the folder. By the end of all this, we'll have a separate image for each element of this folder design. And we can import those images right into our folder mockup template. In our next video, I'll show you how. Thanks for watching this tutorial. To download free folder mockup templates from Company Folders, please visit www.companyfolders.com/fmt.